for me, I find it very hard to then respect anyone's demand for people to condemn Israel and their response. Piers, I'm really, and I'm trying to be candid with you. Number one, I appreciate your humanity. I do. I don't know you from Adam. I'm not a TV or a television or a social media kind of person. I'm a book person. I'm old fashioned. However, I do recall that when that famous moment when Susan Boyle appeared on Britain's Got Talent, and I remember the camera turning to you, focusing on you. I can see it in my mind's eye. I saw your eyes narrow. And suddenly, the humanity in you came up. Here is this obscure woman whose talent had gone unrecognized. And if I can speak to that same program, for me, the most poignant moment, the one I carry with me my entire, since that moment, was when Simon Cowell asked um, Susan Boyle, well, why haven't you been discovered yet? And she replied, because I haven't been given a chance. And that's how I feel about the people of Gaza. That's how I feel about those young men in Gaza. You ask me why I won't condemn them. Because those young men were born into a concentration camp. They were born into among the most dense popul uh, populated places on, on God's earth. Half of the population of Gaza's children, 70% are refugees who were expelled from Israel in 1948 and their descendants. 70% of those of Gaza's youth have no jobs, no future, no nothing. They are Susan Boyle times 10,000, never given a chance.